In this demonstration, we're going to look at how in Artcam Dualsmith 2008 we can import an Artcam Dualsmith version 9 model or project. We'll also look at the new project structure, the way it's laid out now. So the first thing we're going to do is open an existing project. Now, an old version 9 project was laid out with an actual 3D piece or project file and then in there you also had flat, shank which is your actual art files themselves you also had a machining folder if you'd created um, a toolpath over the top of your model and if you created a video you also had a video folder so I'm just going to open the signets file here so it's now just opening the old version 9 3dp file then ask me whether I want to save it as a converted version 2008 project in this case I'm going to select no now if we take a look at the left hand side we can see we've got our assembly is showing in the assembly we have five different files here now if I just hide all of these to start off with and then just show them one at a time. See, I've got my first ring, and in my first ring is the actual ring file itself. And if you had gems, the gems would again be located under this. And again, we have all of the different files. Now, the one we're going to be working on will be this ring here itself. Now, one other thing within the project tree is if you found something that was associated to that model or you'd created something that was associated to that model. So, for instance, this top I knew was um, relevant to the actual ring itself. I could just take a copy of this and then paste it into here. So now if I hide college ring, see that both these are now associated with each other within the one tree structure. Now I don't want to do this, so I'm just going to delete this. We're going to take a look at some basic editing on this ring now. Now the models are now, you don't need to go through the old browse for models section. We just selected that model arrow there it opens it up and we have all of our models within there so I can just double click on it and it will open it with my vectors and my relief files themselves so we just take a look at this we have our vector files here and we actually have our ring itself as a relief file there now if I wanted to add some detail onto the side of this and then add this back to my project it's now done slightly differently. So I'm going to use the relief clip art library just to add some detail to this. And I will add this on a new layer. Now what the relief clip art library is, it's give you about 500 different models where you can just add them and use any of these models in any of your designs. And as you can see when we scroll down we have a whole range of different models that you can use. Now I'm just going to use this Aries RAM. I'm just going to scale it down slightly. Move it into place and then rotate it 90 degrees. I'm just going to size it slightly to uh, half a millimeter and then paste it in place on my new layer so we can see we have our RAM just here do exactly the same on the other side so I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees this time check in my height it's the same and I'm then again going to paste this in place so I'll just close this down for now take a look at my ring we have 
the Aries logo on both sides. We may want to recess this. So using the relief layers, I'm just going to subtract this into the model. Now if I now wanted to add this back to the project, we used to have a button called Add to Master. Now we use the Mesh Creator. So if I select the Mesh Creator icon, I'm going to name this New College Ring. I'm going to close it with my back relief. So I'm now creating my triangles. And we have within the Mesh Creator all of the things that were previously there within the actual Add to Master button. So we have our properties so we can view the actual weight within certain materials as well. But we have a few other options at the bottom within the Mesh Creator that we previously never had. So we now have the ability to save the triangles out, copy to the clipboard or add to the project. Now add to the project is the old add to master button. So we're now creating it as a mesh and then adding it to the project. But as I said here, we have the ability to actually view the weight in various materials. So if I just add this to the project, tell me it's successfully been added to the project. Close this down and close my model down so I can see exactly what I'm working on. And this is going to be in the assembly as new college ring. So if I show my assembly and hide college ring 3 new college ring will be saved with the RAM in place. So we also have the ability to use the 3D machining wizard to machine this as normal. Now in this demonstration you've seen a little bit on the new project structure within ArtCam Jewel Smith 2008, how we can import a version 9 file type and how we can make edits and work seamlessly between the actual model and the assembly itself.